their wives and their children are here. I'm going to take care of them. I'm going to give them food. So he had compassion. So, so Jesus' compassion is not just deep, but it's also practical. So when Jesus has compassion on people, it's a practical compassion. They're hungry, I'll give them food, right? But that's why, that's why in the epistle of St. James, it says that don't somebody comes up to you and they tell you they're hungry or they're cold. Don't tell them, may God be with you, make the sign of the cross on them. Yeah, bro, love you, bro. See you later, bro. And that's it, you just let them out. No, you gotta give them something to eat. You gotta give them something to cover themselves with. That's not how, that's not what Christian compassion is. It's not on the surface. It's practical too. Lastly, the widow of Nain, who she's a widow, so her husband wasn't there, and then her husband, her son, is in a funeral procession, in the coffin, in a funeral procession. So this woman, like at that time, being a, a widow is hard enough because you have no man who's gonna like defend you. People can take advantage of you. They'll be like, who is this woman? No one's gonna beat me up if I mess with her. So they'll just be like, yeah, you gave me money for twelve pigeons. I'll give you five. And they give her five pigeons, right? And that's it. What's she gonna do? She wants to say, "Well, you gotta give me my twelve. And they're gonna be like, "Get out of here! Who's gonna fight me? No, you're not gonna fight me. You're, you're a woman. That's what they. That's what they did. So, but what she does because she has a son, is she'll, she'll come with her son, and her son will come and stand up, and I'll be like, "Listen, give me the other seven pigeons, or I'm gonna feed them to you after you give them to me, right? So the, the son will come up and will start fighting the guy, right? But what happened is that her son died. Her son died, and now she's a widow. She has nobody. Nobody's going to go into the field and start making money and all that stuff. She's just a, a poor woman, and she's sad. And she's crying, right? But it said that when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her and said to her, do not weep. Like, look at how much she cares for her. He says, do not weep. Then he came and touched the open coffin, and those who carried him stood still, and he said, young man, I say to you, Arise. So, because of his compassion, he, he gave her the gift of life again through her son. Right? So, he raised her son. Does anybody have any questions about compassion? Before we move off of this slide, there's only two more, two more things. I just really encourage all of us, myself, to say, yeah, I was going to say, he was God. So, of course, you're not going to be able to do what he did. But he will be able to do what he did in you, right? So he will be able to do it with you. So you can, it's not, when I go up to somebody, like, if I'm, well, let me not be saying if I, if I can go up to somebody and sit down with somebody and have a conversation with them, and they, they tell me later, you know, McCarr, that was a really good conversation. I really feel like I don't have that problem anymore or whatever. I would be a, a great fool I thought that that good result was because of my own doing, right? So if I if I can have compassion on someone, or if I have even a little bit of compassion on someone, it's because God softened my heart. He, do you know how hard it is to have compassion? Your heart has the, the amount of things you have to overcome to have compassion on people. You have to like just get rid of yourself. You have to remember your own weaknesses and the times that you have suffered in the past. You have to, like, stop what you're doing because you need time to have. There's only 24 hours in a day and you can only do one thing at a time. So if I need to have compassion on Mina, I have to stop my schedule so I can do, do it, like, perform an act of compassion. All these things mean that I, because it's so hard to have compassion on someone, I cannot do it by myself. I need the grace of God. 